Normally when I start a bathroom in the very beginning I'm kind of showing what is currently there and I go through a lot a lot of talking explaining how things will eventually be where I show the samples of the stuff the material that I'm going to be working with and how I anticipate the overall scheme to end up looking. In this case it's a little different it's uh, a bit of an anomaly in that um, I have not done all this prep the way you see it now is the way that I'm coming into it. This is a 1970s style bathroom that apparently had a lot of wood rot. And I think in the bathroom next door you can see this is actually 3 8 ply, which I'm always a little miffed about when I see 3 8 ply on a floor. Not that that's a big deal, uh, it's just not my style, not what I would do. But that, be that as it may, the ply was rotted out. And I think mostly around where the bathtub was. And so my customer has replaced the entire floor with this uh, OSB particle, but it's, it's some type of lifetime limited warranty, which is, sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it? Lifetime and then you're limited. Um, but apparently this is um, Advantech flooring, so it is impervious to water um, and all kinds of different stuff that's uh, in, in impregnated into the wood to make it sturdier than just particle board so he has gone and jumped the gun on me and done a very very good job of doing redoing this floor as it were redoing the plumbing for the toilet and eventually they will redo for the vanity over here I won't be setting the vanity or the toilet my part is specifically just the shower and the flooring and it seems like oh, okay not a big deal but it is a big deal and I'm gonna get to that momentarily this used to be a tub, so it was a tub to shower conversion that I'm doing. And you can see what he had to deal with taking out all this material is probably in excess of 1,200 pounds, I'm guessing. The tub was metal instead of cast iron, which again is a bit of an anomaly, but you can see clearly that tub was the same makeup and it is metal. It's a thicker metal than what you would have currently at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, but in fact it is not cast iron. So the tub went away, but these walls weighed a ton because of the way they used to do things back in the old day. Uh, don't like working with this stuff. I mean, I give a lot of props to the people back in the, you know, the turn of the century all the way up through the 70s that had to deal with this wire mesh uh, construction and floated out their walls the way they did. Um, I couldn't possibly imagine doing that much work just doing walls nowadays although the floor was the same makeup also when he took this out so yeah an easy 1200 maybe 1500 pounds of material so um this for your information if you're going to do your own bathroom renovation and you're going to do the tear out and you're going to pull this out understand there's wire mesh and all that stuff so i have other videos that show the demo of, of tile walls and you you can't just demo the tile obviously you have to take out the whole walls and all this material weighs a lot and you got to get crowbars and all this different uh, handheld manual tools to pull all this wire mesh off of the wood yaddy 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 anyway the point being is that um, just know what you don't know if your house is built prior to about 1980 ish then you're going to have this type of makeup and also know something else this is full of asbestos asbestos ran rampant um, in almost every building material that in your house, especially in the 60s and 70s and prior to that, asbestos was in sheetrock, it was in sheetrock mud, it was in mortar, it was in concrete, it was in almost every material in your house had some form of and content of asbestos in it. So it's not just the dust that you're trying to not breathe in, but all the asbestos particles that when they become airborne you take into your lungs and it creates mesothelioma because it's incremental as as asbestos cannot get out of your lungs it builds up and builds up and builds up and then you end up with what they call iron lung where your lungs don't function anymore so it's bad stuff and so there are masks out there that they sell at Home Depot and Lowe's and stuff like that they won't work not to to keep all of this dust particle out and stuff you have to go out and buy like a $150, $200 mask. That's, yeah. So anyway, know that. Anyway, getting on to uh, the project. 
this is going to be a shower uh, the plumbing was already done they went with the old style fixture with the left and right hand rather than the single valve I don't know why but they did so that has to be finished and um, that's going to be that there's going to be no other fancy stuff no shower rain heads or body sprays or anything there's going to be a niche on this back wall and there's going to be tile going just up below the shower head that's where he wants it it's not going to go to the ceiling which i normally do so that's what it's going to look like um specifically what it's going to look like it is so complicated i don't want to waste all your time trying to explain everything and more than likely i'll do some how-to videos as i go along building this shower so if you decide you want to do a tub to shower conversion or any type of shower you can kind of follow those steps as i post the videos but this is a material that i'm working with so you can clearly see these are bits and pieces of all the stuff that i have to put in that i'm going to install and as i said it is very complicated it is different from what i normally do it's going to definitely look different from what i normally do and i am uh, going to keep that kind of under wraps for right now because uh, i don't want to go through the process of explaining everything but this is what i'll be working with both both on the floor here and the shower is going to have bits and pieces of all everything you see here so definitely different and you know from this view from this perspective right here i will come back in about nine days eight to ten days maybe and i will show all of this stuff put in and um it will be it will be one one in a million i i doubt i'll ever do anything like this again i know i haven't done anything like it since i've started and um you shall see when i'm done and it is done uh, i'm not going to talk a lot about this um i think it kind of speaks for itself Brandon, I know you're watching this, and I apologize. I'm not going to talk about this. <laughs> I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it speak for itself. That's just what I'll do. People can kind of take away what they want. This was a tub to shower conversion, which normally is about eight days, maybe ten, in in extreme circumstances. This job was a solid 12 working days, I believe, 12 or 13 working days. Um, quite extensive. Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then subscribe. Hit that button and subscribe. I make nothing off of YouTube, so please be a Patreon member. I'm going to post a link down below to my Patreon account and you can donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars a month. Just pledge that that on a monthly basis that will help me produce more videos and, and content so that you can watch and learn from my channel. And donate at least fifty dollars if you're going to call. If you're going to call for advice, donate to my PayPal, please. Donate first and then feel free to call me or email me uh, for advice. Otherwise, business calls only, please.